everybody, Max here. This is IGN at Gamescom now, and I am now at Gamescom in the retro area. When we think retro, we usually think, I don't know, Pac-Man, old Mario maybe, but when you stop and think about it, Lara Croft has been around quite a while now, and few video game characters have really grown up quite the same way she has, going from kind of the early low-poly iterations to uh, quite often flesh and blood live action adaptations or incredibly gritty modern rebooted versions. Uh, this is a wonderful collection of sort of various Lara Croft collectibles over the years from her very early days in both uh, you know video game form and in plastic form. Uh, and it's kind of cool to just sort of go down memory lane and see how she's changed uh, both in appearance and in sort of, you know, presentation. Uh, up here we've got some uh, action figures that were released by Playmates. These were in the late 90s, probably 1998 or 99. I remember distinctly seeing this one back here, which is, uh, if you're familiar with action figure collecting, kind of an odd scale. I believe that's around eight or nine inches tall. Not, tip not terribly articulated, but like a lot of attention paid to the base. Uh, Playmates is also known for making like Ninja Turtles toys. They've had the Star Trek license, and they very frequently focus on making sort of action feature heavy things. And they also made these little play sets here, which is, you know, Lara sort of scaling the side of this Yeti mountain. Uh, or, I don't know, not seeing that there's a tiger right behind her. There was another one I think that had a, a crocodile along with it. Uh, down here we have a couple more, which are, uh, it's weird because they feel almost like earlier versions of the kind of statuettes you get in collector's editions of games. Uh, over here we've got a couple of the games in different different versions. Here's a, I guess that's a, a strategy guide. There's Laura with her motorbike. And then down here, this isn't exactly in chronological order, we've got, of course, Game Boy Advance games. Here's where she's kind of in that weird middle stage where they're kind of sticking with the original aesthetic but getting darker with, with things, with the whole Angel of Darkness thing. Here's a board game. That's always odd to see. They're all, they're all really stuck in ice there. Here's a Lara Croft edition maglite, and you know, in case you're exploring a very, very small tomb. Down here at the very bottom, some undoubtable classics, Game Boy Color versions, different collector's edition boxes with lots of artwork and stuff. Uh, and then over here, of course, there's the modern iteration. This is the Play Arts Kai action figure, which was released, uh, I believe this is the uh, the more recent Tomb Raider, was that 2012, 2013? The new Tomb Raider in the survival kit, which had a bunch of uh, sort of doodads and, and tchotchkes in it. There was uh, an art book here. I think I had one of these at some point. Uh, and then there was this, uh, this badge here. You know, it's almost like a merit badge for scouts. Uh, and here is the Rise of the Tomb Raider Collector's Edition. This is, you know, definitely m more familiar in more recent years. Uh, and then as we get down here, again, uh, more figures. There's the Totaku, the sort of, uh, you know, non-Nintendo enabled amiibo type collectible. I didn't even know they made a Lara of hers. Uh, there's the Shadow of the Tomb Raider official tactical flashlight for, again, Tomb Raiden, which has different interchangeable colored lenses. Uh, I love this. And of course, the, co the, the tactical coffee mug. Now, most recently, I love this. We got Alicia Vikander playing Lara in the most recent movie, and they made a Barbie to go along with that, which... I mean, it's. I guess it's 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 fairly uh, toned down as far as Barbie goes, but that's still way too clean for that for Lara. She should be covered in like deer blood and mud and things like that. Uh, and then there were the many uh, the top cow appearances of Lara. Uh, it's kind of funny to see how one character can be interpreted so differently over many years. I mean, she's gone from sort of you know sort of pinup material to uh, kind of more of a you know a, a, a proper video game heroine. Oh boy. I don't know if we're allowed to show that, but there's Carl Loft Womb Raider. I can't imagine what that is. Anyway, Gamescom is a fun place. I love this. You can see brand new exclusive gameplay you've never seen anywhere else, or you can kind of take a trip back down and do some uh, semi-literal tomb raiding here and, and digging through antiquities, so to speak, much like Lara Croft would do. We have lots more coverage coming out of Gamescom. This is IGN at Gamescom now. We'll be right back.